Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to discuss series versus parallel fan boxes. So I explained the difference between a series and a parallel fan box in one of the very first podcasts, but I'll do a quick refresher. A series fan box looks kind of like this. You've got a blower on the discharge and a primary air inlet on the inlet side. So let's open up here where the damper would be and let's open up over here is where our induction air comes in the fan box. Draw our damper in. And let's make an opening for the air to discharge out of the box. Okay, so it's called a series fan box because the primary air is in series with the fan. All the air that comes in the box, either through the primary air or the induction air, will go through the fan. A parallel fan box looks something like this. Again, we have our inlet, but the fan is mounted on the induced air side of the box. So let's open up our inlet and our induced air inlet and a discharge for the box. So now the fan is in parallel with the primary air inlet. And so in cooling only, the air just goes through the box, never sees the fan, goes out into the space, kind of like a very big single duct box. So we'll make those smaller and put those up here so that we can look at some of the differences. So in a series fan box, the fan is always on because all the air has to go through the fan. In a parallel fan box, the fan is only on during heating. In the series fan box, the fan has to be sized for the cooling load because all the air goes through it, whereas in a parallel box, the fan is sized for just the heating load because only the induced air is pulled through it. So this means that a series box has a larger horsepower motor compared to a parallel box, which would have a smaller horsepower motor because it's only sized for heating. In a series box, because the fan is always on, you get consistent sound from the fan box. In a parallel box, you can hear the fan turn on and off as it goes in and out of heating mode. So this makes series fan boxes a little more suited for sound sensitive applications. And this might mean that parallel boxes may have objectionable sound because you're hearing the fan turn on and off. Let me scoot this over to make more room. In a series fan box, all the air goes through the fan, so it boosts the air through the dust discharge duct work and into the space. The system fan only needs to be big enough to get the airflow into the fan box. In the parallel box, the System fan needs to get the airflow all the way through the box, down the duct work, out the diffusers, and into the space. So you might need a bigger system fan for a parallel box system. Also in a series fan box, the airflow in the space is always consistent between heating and cooling. In a parallel box, because the fan only turns on during heating, you can get different airflow in the space. So your diffuser performance may change between heating and cooling. So these are some considerations to think about when selecting a fan box type, but it's also a question of energy usage. I make a little room on this page. The debate has always been that since a series box has all these fractional horsepower fans that push the air from the fan box to the space, you can reduce your system fan. So the series box will say has a larger fan in the series box, but a smaller system fan. But in the parallel box, you'll have smaller individual fan box fans, but you'll need a bigger system fan because you've got to get the air all the way into the space because the fan only runs part of the year. But the system fan is always going to be more efficient than the small fractional horsepower um, fans in a fan box. Ashray did a study a couple years back, research project RP1292, to answer the question of which fan box type is more efficient. It basically found that when properly sized and applied, that both fan box types can be equally efficient. The original report only included units with standard PSC fan motors. 
An addendum to the report took ECM motors into account, and then it found that series fan boxes were more efficient. So now, with all that said, if you look at a map of where fan boxes are shipped, you'll see that what mostly determines whether fan boxes series are pal parallel might possibly be the location of the project, but not necessarily for climate reasons. For instance, New York is almost completely series fan boxes, North Dakota is primarily parallel boxes, and Pennsylvania is a mix of the two. So that's a comparison of series fan boxes versus parallel fan boxes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.